Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to do keyword research for free. In just a second, I'm going to jump on my computer and share my screen. You're going to get to follow along and see exactly how to use the number one best free keyword research tool available today. And ultimately, you're going to get everything you need to be more effective with your content marketing and your search engine optimization strategy. Now, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I have some keyword suggestion tools I'm going to teach in a future video. So hit subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notified when that video comes out. Of course, I appreciate any likes, thumbs up, shares, all of that. But here is the tool. So the tool is Ubersuggest, and you can get to it by simply going to ubersuggest.com, U-B-E-R-S-U-G-G-E-S-T, and it's a quite simple tool. Now, this is built by Neil Patel. I've got a little story. I was hanging out with him in Vegas at the Affiliate Summit, and I, I know a bit of the backstory here that I'll share in a little bit, but let's jump in. Now, the simplest way to start is by just going into the search bar and typing in a keyword phrase based on something you're looking for. So I've got a few examples down here and we're going to start with best kitchen knife. Now this is, you know, if I'm doing an affiliate blog, if I'm a uh, mom blogger who does a lot about cooking and recipes, this is where I'm going to go. Now you're going to notice the first thing in the top right corner, you can register for free and get more keyword suggestions. You're going to see where that comes into play and I don't actually use that. This is that next video that I'm talking about. I've got five separate keyword suggestion tools that blow the doors off of this. Um, it's probably good to just sign in and get it since you're using this tool, but be sure to subscribe so you get that next video. Now, the first thing you see right up top is the search volume. The, the reason you want to pay attention to the search volume when you're doing content marketing is if you title your blog posts, your videos correctly, they're going to be in alignment with what people are searching. If you title them incorrectly, that means no one's going to be able to find what you're doing because you simply chose the phrase that no one's actually searching. So that's the first metric we're paying attention to here is what is the actual search volume? And then there's the SEO difficulty. Now, the SEO difficulty is an organic number. The paid difficulty is obviously pay per click. This is obviously the cost per click. And the SEO difficulty is the other factor that you want to keep in mind. So you're always playing a little bit of a mental balance game. You want high search volume, but you also want low keyword difficulty or low SEO difficulty as he calls it here. And then he gives you a little heads up that the average page ranks has 51 backlinks and a domain score of 79. Now he doesn't exactly say how he calculates the difficulty and the domain score, which is one of my challenges and why the paid premium tool that I still personally use, they give me more insight so I can get a little bit more surgical with my data to know what I need to do to overtake the competition. But this is great if you're on a budget. If you don't have 50 bucks a month to invest in a proper tool, this is a great place to go. Now, we search down to the bottom and you're going to see he has additional keywords suggested here, but they're all extremely similar. And that's one of the flaws of this tool is how similar they are. Now, you notice right here on keyword ideas, these tabs on the right will actually bring you more keyword suggestions. So I just went from suggestions to related, and they're still very similar. Okay, we, we get best kitchen knife sharpener at this point, but then we can get into the questions. And these questions are related to the best kitchen knives. So who makes the best kitchen knives? But if you notice the keyword volume, we're down pretty low at this point for still having a relatively high SEO difficulty score. Okay, and then you can do the prepositions where they start adding the and of and all the, the different words to it. And then comparisons. These are the types of phrases they're used for comparisons. Um, so if you probably notice as I flip through these, the suggestions don't change all that much, which is okay. Now below, this is really valuable data here. This is showing you what is currently ranking for our main keyword phrase that we typed in, which was best kitchen knives. Now, one of the things that he does add that's really smart is this Facebook social shares. And it gives you at a glance an understanding of which post actually gets the most shares. Now, you might think, oh, of course, the first one does. It's not always the first one. And what that tells you is you actually want to go look at the type of content that gets shared a lot because that means they did something, the hook, the angle, uh, what they did in that post for some reason went mildly viral. I mean, if you look at the numbers, there's well over 10 X more social shares than number two. And there's like 50 X almost compared to the number three result of 25, 30 X. So it's drastically more shared. So this is where you can understand out of what's ranking on the first page of Google, which ones got shared. And that's the type of content you want to study and you want to model because you want to create the kind of content that people love enough to share it. Hopefully, 
you like this video enough to grab it and share it out on Twitter or share it in a Facebook group where you know they're digital marketers. That's my goal with my content and that should be your goal with your content too. So this is really kind of the, the basic level of working with it. Now, I wanna show you what, what I usually do is I wanna go deeper. So for me, I'm not really doing best kitchen knife. I'm gonna do best kitchen knife for vegetables because I like specificity, right? And my goal here is to lower the SEO difficulty, which we did. But at this point, we only have 10 searches per month. And this is the path, right? This is the, the pattern. This is the game that we're playing as search engine marketers is we're really trying to find those keyword phrases that have low difficulty and also a high search volume for us to go after. I really like keyword phrases that are between 500 and 5,000 searches per month with low difficulty because I can often go after them and rank really well. Well, um, so let's do best gift for. So as we're recording this, we're, we're in the holiday season. And of course, best gift for, I'm missing some things, right? Like I literally didn't finish that sentence. So what I wanna see is what are the most common phrases? So best gift for friend, best gift for men, best gift for a man, best gift for mom. So it's giving me an understanding of what actually, who's actually searching for the best gifts. And this gives me the types of gift guides I could potentially meet. And then again, you can search through right to the right to the right to all of the different um, types of keyword suggestions that they do offer. And this is a really great way to go with this to get the keyword ideas and to get different ideas. Um, let's go into the keyword ideas on on the left panel here. So I just clicked the left panel and here's where it gives you the opportunity to obtain even more keyword phrases. And it takes a minute for this to load because it's pulling data from a number of different sources. When I was speaking with Neil, he actually said this tool um, when we last talked was costing him $16,000 per month to run. So the question becomes, is this gonna be free forever? And also why is he doing this? Uh, why is he putting out all this money? And I've got a, a, his answer that he told me after I asked him that. And you can see here, it will give you up to 435 more suggestions for free. You just need to sign in for Google. Um, but I'm just trying to show you all all of the different ways that you can use this tool and it gets us all the way down to best gift for a one-year-old best gift for mom etc etc lots of different phrases here now on the right we have the best gift for search results page and what gets the most social shares so i'm going to go down to the best gift for one-year-old and i am going to click the little arrow what this does is it re actually searches the main page now i can see on this main page over here to the right that this top post right here on today Day, got 1400 shares and then this post here got 90 shares this is the kind of content you want to look into and maybe you're doing um, first person view drones or racing drones and maybe you're just exploring you know that that's your niche that's where you're at you're in the racing drone world so you're just trying to come up with new ideas and again we're, we're noticing here that that most of the keywords that are suggested are actually including the exact phrase so it's not going out and finding the fpv even though fpv is in here but it, it always seems to come back to racing drones and this is a perfect example right here so racing drone league has actually 16 difficulty score with 4,400 volume. These are the types of numbers that I really like to look for because this means that I could get onto the first page with a relatively new website and I could probably gobble up a bunch of traffic. But then that becomes the question of like, is this relevant to your audience? Okay, that that actual like the relevance, the um, the search intent behind this, is this actually something that's, that's worthwhile to your audience? If you're teaching people how to build and race drones, then talking about finding a local racing drone league does definitely make sense and clearly people are searching for that so it's a great way to meet your audience where they are and introduce them to your brand and your content etc so let's just kind of flip through some of these other keyword phrases here um, you can see as I go to related it's still it's all racing drone based content um, then you have the questions that people all often ask, um, then you add the prepositions and the comparisons, et cetera, et cetera. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna open, we're gonna go kind of do some reverse engineering of a competitor through this keyword tool. So on racing drones, I'm gonna look at getfpv.com. So you notice the number two actually has a ton of social shares, right? 16,000 social shares by the number two. And I'm gonna pull this URL here and we're gonna go right back to the top, to the homepage. 
And I'm gonna start and lead by the domain name now. So the first time we used this tool, we went in from the standpoint and the view of, here's my keyword phrase. I know what I wanna talk about. I know the topic that I'm looking to cover. This is reverse engineering what's working for your competitors. So I'm just typing in that one, get FPV. Obviously, we're assuming I'm in the uh, first person drone. This is a drone niche, if you don't know what FPV is. Um, and then now what we're able to do is we're able to see essentially what this this person ranks for and you can see that they're ranking for over 66,000 keywords and they're getting almost 200,000 monthly visits they have a very high domain score and they have a lot of backlinks so this is a very strong website which is exciting for us to know now what you can do is you can look at their top SEO pages here and you can see by country it's showing us literally what are their best pages that they're getting the most number of visits from this is extremely valuable for us as content marketers. So I can see cameras for drones, HD drone cameras is actually their number one post. So now that I see that, since I didn't see it on my keywords suggested, I can go back to the top here and I can type that in, which we'll do in a moment, but I wanna show you a little bit more on what's going on here on this. You can also see that they're um, a little bit seasonal, right? The Christmas season probably is a very big season for them. And then down here, it gives you the actual keywords for the individual. So camera for drones, as we saw above, is actually one of their best keyword phrases. FP drone, FPV drones, race drones, drone for racing, camera with drone. These are the different keyword phrases that rank well. And then all you gotta do is click on the little arrow. And now it actually does a keyword search for you on that phrase. It gives you the search volume and it gives you the difficulty. And we found here and we can see this is a very difficult keyword phrase. So we would need a very strong site in order to rank for this but you can see right down here camera drones at walmart is actually a 35 difficulty which comparatively speaking is much less difficulty and maybe you're doing a holiday gift guide and you're going to do the top 10 best camera drones available at walmart 2,900 people a month search for that. Walmart has an affiliate program. There is a way to make that cash flow positive for your business over time. And really, this is the game. The tool does more than this for sure. And again, you have the ability to see what kind of content ranks well below. But this is really the ultimate game of keyword research. You want to go in and look from a couple of different lenses, right? We start with ideas. Here's my idea for my topic. You cross reference the keyword research tool to find out number one, is this an extreme? extremely difficult keyword phrase. That's not a bad thing if you have a very, very strong website, but if you have a new website, you wanna make sure you're focusing on low difficulty phrases. And then you wanna make sure you have the phrase that has the highest search volume also. And that's really the main key. But then once you get momentum, you can go find your competitors and you'll see them popping up in the search engines all over. Every keyword phrase that you wanna go after, there's that website again. Boy, they rank for everything. Do some reverse engineering. What are they ranking for? And dig down through that data to find the lower difficulty score phrases they're ranking for. And that to me is one of the big things that this tool is missing. You're not able to sort by the difficulty score, which my favorite tool, um, I'll link to that one above. It's up there. Um, that tool is the one that I use every single day. I don't actually use this tool, but I wanted to show you how to use this tool because it offers a little bit more data, a little bit cleaner data, and also it allows me to sort all of the columns by the difficulty score. Um, I've got more trust. It's helped me build, you know, we reach 850,000 visits per month, and it's because I've been building off of that tool. So um, with that said, finally, this is a free tool. Neil Patel told me personally that he is spending $16,000 per month, and this was a while ago on keeping this tool up and running. And I asked him, what's your end game here? Why are you doing this? Are you going to turn it into a paid tool at some point? Because if you've been around on my videos for a while, and if you made it to the end, hashtag 1% to you, um, you notice the last free keyword research tool I showed after about six months went to a paid model because we were all together hitting the API so much, it ended up costing him a lot of money and he had to lay that cost back onto us, the users. Neil said that he has no plans to turn this into a paid tool, which I give him a big thumbs up for. And his goal is to get people hooked on it at corporations because he wants to sell Google enterprise access to this. He wants to sell major corporations enterprise access to this for 20, 50, $100,000 per year. And a few key clients at those higher levels are going to pay for all of the uses of individual. So the idea is to get us all get a lot of people using the tool, loving the tool, 
So when you go in at your day job to request a tool, you request this tool and there's an enterprise level. That was his explanation of it. Um, honestly, it works. It's a great tool. If you're on a deep budget, I still think KW Finder is a superior tool, but either way, regardless of what you use, you got to do keyword research on every video, on every post. You got to make sure that the titles, the descriptions, the angles, what you're talking about is indeed what your people are searching for. And when you build content over the next months and years to come in alignment with what people are searching for, you'll find that you'll get indexed more quickly. You'll get better rankings and you'll get more traffic because you are helping Google, get the Google searches, get the Google searchers, right? The users searching Google, you're helping them get what they're looking for. And it all comes down to this keyword algorithm and the keyword research. I hope this has been helpful. Give me a thumbs up. If you liked it, any questions, get at me in the comments below. And of course, be sure to subscribe because I got the keyword suggestion tools coming out that'll give you some crazy good keyword content ideas that you won't find from a tool like this. I'm Miles Beckler. Thank you again for your time. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Until then, be well.